Uh, Shalom, Israel. Uh, this is Brother Ariah. Uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Akarkwadash. Uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Shalom to the hopeful elect and much respect to the brothers pushing this word in the four corners of the globe. Um, this is a quick one right here. I just seen this. I know, you know, we all been dealing with this Juneteenth bullshit, right? Salakia. This, uh, Juneteenth crap. And, um, I came across this little, uh, this article right here, man. And it's about, uh, George Floyd. So that's what I'm going to get into about George Floyd, not Juneteenth. You know, that's not even worth mentioning. Um, they making statues for this dude, man. All right. Like, look at this, man. Like, I'm telling you, man, our people are destroyed, man. You know, for a lack of knowledge, man. These brothers and sisters out here, these two thirds don't have any knowledge, man. No, no, no knowledge, wisdom, or understanding, man, about what's going on or about how to, how to, how to be, how to, how to be as you know, as a man or a woman, man. They just have no, no knowledge of that, man. And they out here exalting this man right here, George Floyd. And this dude, he wasn't a good dude, man. This, you out here, he was out here making pornos. You know, he was a drug addict, man. You know, he was a thief, you know. You know, trying to use trickery. You know, that's what got him. Uh, that's what ultimately put him to death, man. That's why, you know, trying to give somebody a fake $20 bill, you know. Just being dishonest, man. He was a wicked dude, man. You know, but he's being exalted all over the place, man. You see right here uh, in Brooklyn. You know, they made a little statue of his head, man. And this dude is being exalted, man, throughout America. And I'm not going to go ahead and read this. I'm just going to show. Look, look at this one, man. In Newark, man. I'm going to blow it up. You see this, man? They taking pics with him. He got the, he got the wife beater on. <laughs> Hey yo, man, this place gotta go. People standing around it like this. He was a great dude, man. Like, what's going on, man? This is ridiculous, man. These naked face dudes. This is ridiculous, man. And they they gathered around him like he was a great man. Like he was a a, a notable a notable noble man. You know, it's ridiculous, man. I know there's another one I seen. Salakia, give me a second. Okay, this is another one right here. They <laughs> ridiculous, man. Salakia. So Yeah, man, they out here, you know, exalting this dude, man. You know, because he got, you know, killed by the cop or whatever, man. But we all know that's in his truth. We know that's that's from uh you know that's that's judgment from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And this right here, I just this is crazy right here, man. Like, come on, man. You know? They got they made a bench with him sitting on it. You know, this is uh six feet tall about, they said uh, it looked more like damn near ten feet tall. Ten foot statue right there, man. You know? And he's lost. Jake is just sitting around it like people are just lost, man. And when I seen this article, I was just like, yo, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a lesson on a quick, quick cut on this. Bring out some uh, scripts, you know, on this one right here, man, because I couldn't believe what I was seeing, man. You know, I'm pretty sure brothers did videos on this already, but, you know, I didn't I never came across it. I didn't come across any videos neither, but I'm pretty sure. You know, the diligent brothers out there made something about this. But I'm just going to go into some scriptures because this shit is folly right here, man. Absolute folly. So, bear with me. I'm going to go into some scripts. Okay. And uh, I'm going to start off at, uh, at Psalms uh, 12 and 8, man. You know, and it reads, The wicked walk on every side when the vilest men are exalted man 
And this world is ran in, in wickedness, man. We are surrounded by wickedness, man. That's why wickedness is being exalted, man. This is why this man is being exalted right now. Because he was wicked as well, man. And that's what goes on out here, man. If you wicked, you looked at as good, man. But if you're good, you're looked at as wicked, man. Everything is flipped upside down, man. Everything is backwards out here. That man should not have got any murals or any statues or anything like that, man. He didn't deserve any of that, man. He was not a good man. He was not a good person, man. Regardless of how people feel or think about it, who cares, man? He was not a good dude, man. You know? And most high put him to death for a reason, man. But like I said, a lot of people out here do not have understanding about what's going on out here, man. I'm going to go to Proverbs now. I'll go to 14 and 18. Proverbs 14 and 18. Okay? And it's, it reads... The simple inherit folly, right? These month, these people, oh, I'm, I'm trying not to curse. These people out here are simple, man. Simple minded, man. And I'm talking about you two thirds, man. I don't care about the other nations or none of that, man. You know, because they're going to do what they do. They're going to do what they're set up to do. Okay? Just like the two thirds is doing what they set up to do. But it's still vexing just to see how stupid and, and simple you guys are, man. You out here, man, they not, they about folly. That's it. That's all you see when you turn on the internet, when you go on the internet, man. You doing these fucking dumbass uh, dance challenges and all the, all this TikTok dummy shit. Like, come on, man. That's all. That's all, man. That's all Jake want to do is dance and, and uh, laugh and, and joke and play around, man. That's it. No kind of seriousness to them, man. Until something bad happens to them, that's when they want to be serious, and that's when they want to group together. But other than that, yo, Jake is out, two-thirds is out here living in folly, man. You know, the simple inherit folly, man. And that's what they inherit. That's their inheritance, man. You know? But the prudent are crowned with knowledge, man. And that's us in this truth, man. Because we're prudent, man. We are prudent people, man. Us that's in this truth. You know, we're crowned with knowledge, man, because we have knowledge. We have wisdom and understanding, man. We're not fooled by that. We're not fooled by anything that's going on around us. You know, nine times out of ten, we see it happening before it happens, man. Okay? Because we check into everything, man. You know, we study, man. You know, we're prudent, man. We don't just take we don't just take people's word for face value and say, okay, well, he said this, so I'm just gonna believe it. No, we check into it, man. You know? And that's what being a prudent, diligent person is, man. You know? But these people out here are fucking... Uh, Salakia. For cursing. Uh, Salakia. For real. These people out here are just simple, man. And they just love folly, man. And, you know, it's just it's just sickening, man. I seen the other day, I seen the other day, I believe it was yesterday, uh, the elder Manat Tazakba put up a video of a baby... Um, getting tattooed, man. Like that shit, yo. That pissed me off, man. To see that, man. You know, that really, that was really some dumb shit, man. It really was, man. And you know, who knows what that baby did in his past life to deserve that? I understand that, but at, at the end of the day, it's still wickedness, man. You know, they take they 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 in the video with the baby. Oh, this is the hardest baby in the world. Like, come on, man. They got a, a damn teardrop on the baby's face. The whole baby uh, body covered in tattoos, man. This is what it's come to, man. With you two-thirds, man. That's why your faces with, yo, when them, when them, when them damn missiles drop, you're going to turn and look at each other, and y'all faces is going to be as flames, man. You're going to be looking at each other burn and melt, man. The Most High going to leave you here, and he's going to melt you, man. And deservedly so, man. Let me go to Isaiah, man. Get my, my blood pressure up. Fucking nincompoops. All right, um... We're going to go ahead to Isaiah 45 and 15 and 16, man. 
Verily thou art a power that hideth itself, O power of Israel, the Savior. They shall be, they shall be ashamed and also confounded, all of them. They shall go to confusion together that are makers of idols, man. Right? And they all going to be ashamed and confounded when when the most high, when Yahweh when Yahweh Shai comes back to lock it. Okay? They're going to be ashamed and confounded, man. All of them. Right? They over here making these these idols and shit, man, for the wrong people, man. George Floyd gets a gets a, a statue. What what great works has this man done, man? But you know what? Great works is evil works, man. Out here, that that's what's exalted out here is it, that's what's considered great works, evil works, man. Making fucking pornos and shit, man. Being a drug dealer, oh not a drug dealer, a drug abuser, Salakia. But who knows? I don't know what that man, what else that man did. But he's he probably he, you know he definitely did a lot of uh, wickedness because the Most High punched his clock, man. You know he got his TV turned off. But this place just this place gotta go, man. I'm tired of living here, man. Yo, with that that thing with that baby, man, that that pissed me off, man. That was it for me, man. You know if I if I'm out here in the streets because I really don't be out here at all like that unless I'm prophesying. But other than that. If I'm around two third man, don't fucking talk to me. Don't say nothing to me, man. I ain't got shit to say to you. We ain't got nothing in common or none of that, man. That's how I'm on it, man. I ain't got time to talk to you or none of that, man. Don't even look at me, man. Going to John five and nineteen through twenty one. This place gotta be destroyed, man. And we know that we are of the Most High, and the world, and the whole world lieth in wickedness. And we know that the Son of the Most High has come and have given us an understanding that we may know him that is true. And we are in him that is true. Even in his Son, Yahweh Shai, the Anointed, this is the true power and eternal life. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Amen. Okay? Keep yourselves from idols, man. That's wickedness, man, to the Most High, man. These, uh, these statues, these idols, or whatever you may have in your house, man. It's an idol, man. Pictures. Okay? Them little, them little statues and shit that you, you want to leave cups of liquor by. You know? You want to leave cups of liquor for Joe Boo? Nah, man. That's an idol, man. Uh, Santa Maria or whatever, man. Those are all idols, man. False gods, man. Buddha. All of that, man. Those are all idols, man. The Most High is not with that, man. And if you out there dealing with that stuff, I suggest you leave it alone, man. Because it's not going to end well for you. It's not going to end well. You know? But, you know, I'm, you know what? I don't even care that they made a, a, a statue for this dude. Because it's going to be melted anyway, man. It's going to be melted anyway. So it don't matter, man. It's only going to be there for a short time, man. You know, all, all the folly and, and, and bull crap that's on this land is going to be destroyed anyway, man. So it don't matter. You can you can build whatever you want, man. You people that, that's embedded in folly, y'all could build whatever y'all want. Because soon come, it's going to be destroyed and melted anyway, man. So it's only going to be short-lived. I'm going to go to Wisdom of Solomon. I'm almost done, man. You know? And Salaki if I'm sounding angry, but I'm just tired. I'm just tired of being here, man. Tired of this place. 14. I'm going to read 26 through 30. Okay? It says, The disquieting of good men, forgetfulness of good turns, dealing of souls, changing of kind, disorder in marriages, adultery, and shameless uncleanliness. For the worshiping of idols not to be named is the beginning, the cause, and the end of all evil. For the worshiping of idols not to be named is the beginning, the cause, and the end of all evil. For either they are mad when they be merry, or prophesy lies, or live unjustly, or else lightly forswear themselves. 
for in so much as their trust is in idols which have no life though they swear falsely yet they look not to be hurt how be it for both causes shall they be justly punished both because they thought not well of the most high giving heed unto idols and also unjustly swore in deceit despising holiness man okay them idols have no power man you know them idols is they're not going to heal you they're not going to keep you from evil or oh, salakia they're not going to keep evil from you you know they're not going to bless you with money or riches they're not going to bless you at all man these idols have no power man no power at all man and these these people want to sit here and, and, and take a picture around this, around the damn statue, man. I hope somebody vandalizes it, man. I hope somebody vandalizes that statue, man. I hope a whole flock of birds shit on it, man. Seriously, man. And turn it, man, whatever, man. I'm, I'm going to stop. I ain't even going to say nothing else. I'm going to go to Jeremiah. I'm going to end the head too, man. Jeremiah 17 and 5, man. This place got to go. Like I said, it's just a quick cut. Um, And it reads, let's say, If the Lord cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departeth from the Most High, man. You know, for he shall be like the heath in the desert, and shall not see when good cometh, but shall inherit the parched places in the wilderness in a salt land and not inhabited. Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai and whose hope the Lord is. Right? So we're blessed, man, because we trust in the Most High, man. You know? We trust that He'll protect us. We trust that, he give, that He'll give us knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. We trust that He will keep us from evil, man. You know? We trust that he'll keep us on the straight and narrow, man. You know? We trust we trust in the Lord Yahweh fully, man. You know, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Because if you don't if you don't believe in Yahweh Shai, then there's no way you're gonna get to the Heavenly Father, man. So we trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. By Hashem Rakakwadash, man. Through the Holy Spirit, man. Which is the Rakakwadash. Okay? So don't trust in these idols, man. You know, trust trust in the Heavenly Father, man, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, man. These idols have no power, man. And if you out here dealing with these idols, like I said earlier, I suggest you leave them alone, cause they help. They hold no. They hold no power, man. There's no power in them, man. The one and true power is the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, man. Okay. So that's it, man. That's just a quick lesson. This is Brother Arbiah. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Shalom to the hopeful elect and much respect to the brothers pushing his word in the four corners of the globe. Shalom.